welcome to this session in this session we are going to discuss about general purpose interface bus which is widely used in instrumentation so before going to the the details of the general purpose interface bus let us see what is the evolution of this protocol so gpib which is popularly known as general purpose interface bus is an interface which has been developed by elite packet company and this is also known as hpib which is known as elite packet interface bus which is used for interfacing the instruments so this is the earlier development by the hp company later on it has become a need for the interfacing to several instruments and it has become a de facto industry standard in the year 1975 the ieee standards group published the ieee 488 for the gp ip interface industry uses this standard to this day as a parallel interface for various applications in instrument control now the gpib functionality has evolved over time that means the ieee 488 specification defines the electrical characteristics mechanical characteristics and basic functional characteristics of the interface bus so here the gpib or the general purpose interface bus is referred as ieee 488 specification so after that ieee 488.2 was also introduced in 1987 it defines minimum configuration and basic set of instrument commands and command data format so this is nothing but the evolution from 488 to 488.1 488.2 and ieee 488.2 specification included standard commands for programmable instruments which is also known as scpi specification the scpi specification defines a standard instrument command set that can be used by gpib and other interfaces that means ieee 488 will discuss about the interface bus so this is a small example here we can see that how gpib cable is used to interface several instruments to pc so on the left of your screen you can see the personal computer in that personal computer you are having at gpip interface and this gpip interface is used to communicate or to interface many devices such as oscilloscope multimeter function generator power supply and spectrum analyzer so this is a small example where we are going to connect five devices to the personal computer with gpib interface so gpib is a cable or an interface which connects the pc to several instruments so each instrument will have a unique address and this address will be used to transmit the data to receive the data or to send a command from pc to the particular instrument which we have connected by using a gpib cable now gpib standards gpib standards include ieee 488 and higher level ieee 488.2 and it also have feature syntax for text data and numerical expressions and commands and queries that can be used 
by the instruments which are interfaced. That means here the devices will be com will be communicating to the personal computer via this IEEE 488.2 protocol, and the devices can communicate. It can send data. It can receive data by using this IEEE 488 protocol, which is popularly known as GPIB protocol. Now you can see here on the left side of your screen, you can see the PC or your computer. It is used as a controller where you can send signals to the devices by using GPIB protocol, which is IEEE 488 protocol. You can share commands and queries. You can go for connection and transfer of data. And the GPIB is nothing but an interface between the device and the PC. The PC here acts as a controller. Sometimes the PC can also be used for communication. So the PC has two roles or responsibilities. One is for data communication and second one is for controller. So let us see the characteristics of GPIB. It allows parallel and multi-drop connections up to 15 devices. That means you can connect 15 devices. Each device on the bus is classified into three types. One is talker, second one listener, third one is controller. Talker means you can send devices. You can, you can talk to the device. That means you are sending data to the device. Second one is listener. You are receiving the data. And the third one is the controller. You are sending some commands to the device. And each device will have unique address. And total bus length, it may be up to 20 meters. And GPIB transfers information on 8 bit parallel data and it is uses hardware for handshaking with special bus lines. Maximum data transfer rate will be up to 1 MB. So that means it has wide capacities where you can transmit the data, you can receive the data, and you can control the devices from a remote location. That means from PC, you can get. You can transmit the data, you can receive the data from the devices by using GPIB interface. At the same time, you can control the device which is at a remote location from the PC by using GPIB. So the GPIB enables control of instruments using PC. Instruments and PC on the GPIB bus will be able to talk each other. So GPIB program establishes conversation between the devices. That means two devices can be connected and they can have the communication between the two devices with the support of GPIB. And they can be used for measurement and control operations by providing the interface between the PC and the other devices. So this is nothing but the Pinot diagram of your GPIB connector, you can see from 1 to 24. There are a few ground pins. You will be having data bus. You are having management bus. You are having handshake bus. That means each pin will be used for data. As I said earlier, it can be used for data transmission, data receiver, as well as for performing control action. So all those pins are being provided in this pinout diagram. No, this is nothing but the structure of GPIB. As you can see, you are having data lines, handshake lines, and control lines. As we discussed earlier, the GPIB will have three tasks, talker, listener, and controller. 
Talker means sending the data from the PC to the device. Listener means receiving the data from the device to the PC. And controller means sending the commands from PC to the remote device for controlling action. So this is how you can interface by using GPIB protocol. So this is nothing but GPIB handshake protocol. The GPIB uses asynchronous handshake protocol for data transfer between the devices. It allows only one sending device on the bus to send a data byte at a time and more than one receiving device on the bus to receive the byte at the same instant. In each data transfer, all eight bits of a data byte are transferred in parallel. The maximum data transfer rate on GPIB is one MB per second. So it is nothing but how you are interfacing number of devices to the personal computer with this in GPIB interface card. So this is how you are going to implement the GPIB. The GPIB controller hardware and driver software are installed in the PC. The PC and all instruments are powered down. Unique address for each instrument on the bus is set. All the instruments and PCs are connected in a linear or sometimes star combination using GPIB cables. The PCs and instruments are powered up and the hardware implementation is done and there will be data transfer between the GPIB system by using the software. So this is how the overview of GPIB is discussed in this presentation.